What is happening guys? Long time no here, but uh, we're back and in today's video we got a my team game and this one we are taking on a very good team. Personnel wise man, this team, uh, they're pretty tough man, they're pretty tough as you can see from the lineups. I mean they got LeBron, they got Paul George, uh, just a lot of good players. So we'll see what we can do. Um, this is really early in my my team career so you know my team isn't up there yet. There has been a lot of progress made with my team since this game. But uh, we'll go ahead and give you guys the update slowly but surely. Going to try to give you guys at least a daily video for the next few days and uh, get you all caught up with everything. With that being said, we got the red jerseys taking on the green jerseys. And, um, you know, basically my team, how I'm trying to build it, is basically a combination of teams that I use. Now, I may have said this before, but the two primary teams are going to be the Thunder and the Blazers because those are my two favorite teams to use in the game and those are the two teams I usually go to uh, in must-win games but another team I like using once in a while is the Raptors and then as well as the Pacers so I may have like Paul George and uh, DeRozan be a part of the final team but um, overall though it's definitely going to be primarily Blazers and uh, Thunder players in each spot and they will fill in some Pacers and Raptors where suitable so here we are again we're up four right now and john wall just shows off that athletic ability gets the easy dunk and uh you know not much you can do about that um so let's talk about some of the things i like and dislike about my team um and 2k in general especially compared to madden and madden ultimate team so i've been saying i'm going to talk about this for a while so you know i'll just go ahead and dive into it now and again this is a very good game so you're definitely going to want to keep your eyes glued to the screen a lot of good stuff here um, one thing you'll notice is that i tend to play a lot of zone and the reason i play a lot of zone not because i necessarily want to but there's two primary reasons and one of them is the big flaw in 2k and that is 2k's online servers are still not up to par to what they should be oh my goodness webster but look how bad they do on getting back on defense that's one of the issues i have with 2k is they will just literally allow their guy to run down court freely not get back no one will cover for him and this is just basic basketball if you're the man that scores you know you need to get back if you're not the man that scores and you see the man just scored his man just taking off to get a quick bucket you're going to go ahead and help him out until he's able to get back down court. And um, my least favorite animation by far is when you go into the paint, you get a dunk or a layup, and you get like knocked down, and they just stay down for like five or six seconds. Uh, that's a very, very unrealistic animation. I don't know why they decided to put that animation in the game, but definitely don't like that animation. But that's a gameplay thing. Um, as far as the my team compared to Madden Ultimate Team, um, my team, I do like their pack system a lot better. They have a greater diversity in packs, so you can go for Thunder players if you want them. You can go for Heat players if you want them uh, specifically, whereas in Madden Ultimate Team, you kind of just got to take what they give you. I mean, they have some pack that have designated types of cards, but uh, for the most part, it's really just random what you're going to get, which can sometimes be good and also sometimes be bad. I kind of guess it just depends what you're looking for. Um, I kind of prefer the personalization of what you want to look for so for me it's great because I can try to get specifically Thunder or Blazer players as opposed to Madden Ultimate Team I wouldn't really be able to do that and I'd probably get some good players but they'd be from teams that don't really fit so uh, but one thing that Madden does offer and this is kind of offsets this entirely look at that man my dude just completely misses that pass but that's another topic for another day <laughs> But one thing Madden does to completely offset this is that they have a market where you can individually buy players, and 2K does not offer that same market. So, you know, if I'm trying to get Westbrook, for instance, it's going to be very difficult to do. Even though I can get Thunder Packs, the chances of me getting Westbrook in that Thunder Pack is not too high. So I'm going to have to buy a bunch of Thunder Packs, and it's really just going to be a random amount of time until I end up getting him. So that aspect definitely Madden is on point right there. Um, and that that's that's critical. You know, it's very, very helpful in that aspect. Look at this here. This dude Perkins just completely misses that. I mean, it was a little contested, but geez. 
definitely got to upgrade at my big man position. I got Perkins and Lopez from the, the two teams, but I'm definitely not going to be using them long term. I'm going to be trying to get Aldridge and Ibaka. So hopefully I'll be able to get those two. And this game ends up getting very, very close here at the end. We're missing free throws, and that's one thing I don't like about 2K is the inconsistency in the free throws. I wouldn't mind missing bees if you regularly miss bees with a, a bad shooter or making them with a good shooter or whatever, but you'll literally miss A minuses with good shooters, and then you'll make a D with the terrible shooter. It's just very, very inconsistent as my man Perkins intercepts the ball right there and really wraps up the game. But I'll get more into more of the details of what I like and dislike. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on some of the things you like and dislike for my team versus, you know, Madden Ultimate Team. Here we're going to go ahead and grab that Blazer pack and see who we can get. And I believe this pack we're going to get Mo Williams, and we do. And he is a beast, man. Definitely like Mo Williams. You'll be seeing a lot more coming from him soon. But that's going to do it for me, guys. And until the next time, I really appreciate you taking your time out to watch this video. We got